Welcome back to Pepper Schism. Hey. And we are super excited because we have Jim Munhall's sauces. We love us some um, Jim. And these dogs are I get really so cute freaking too. excited, man, whenever I get something from him in the mail. Dude. Dude. This strawberry Dude. reaper is some of the best tasting that strawberry stuff reaper I've ever had. That strawberry reaper is great. And uh, the purple rain mm-hmm. and the uh, cherry rip uh, candy. Um, his Thai dipping sauce. We've we've had quite a bit. And there's been a ton of other reviews if y'all, y'all want to check them out. Um, uh, this time we have roasted red jalapeno. Mm. And we have the sought after. Cluckin' hot wing sauce. Now we don't have wing sauce to, or we don't have wings to put this sauce on, so it's going to be We're a gonna straight pretend. up, straight up, just straight to the head. I'm interested in the jalapeno though because I love me a jalapeno. Yeah, and these are these are great. Oh, it's and not, I got this uh, kick-ass sticker. I got a sticker. I got a sticker. And if you guys are nice, maybe he'll send you one, too. I've heard that whenever you order his sauce, he likes to send a little something in the mail. You can see my little cool coaster that I've got there. <laughs> i got three or four of them, a few stickers. And um, so with out keeping everybody waiting, okay, let's rock on and get to it. So we're going to try out the roasted red jalapeno. So none of these are like super hot, so you don't have anything to worry about. Even the clucking hot's not. Yeah. No, really Jim's that hot? Uh, he's he's man, he is flavor driven. Like, and this guy knows his stuff. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, and uh, we know that. Now, he says he might make a special batch someday, but um, but these are wonderful, wonderful. Sauce. I already smell it. It smells really good. Man, that is awesome smelling. That's awesome. Holy crap. Mm. Man. I don't even know what that smells like, but it smells like goodness. <laughs> the goodness in a bottle. I Check like the flavor of a jalapeno. And I know it's like super chili heads will be like, what is a jalapeno? Look at you all know, that but in there, jalapenos though. are good. That's why they're very popular pepper because they're so freaking good. Oh, jalapenos know? are great. Especially with bacon. We get a side of jalapenos everywhere we go. A side of pickled jalapenos. It's like, we don't care about the salsa or the queso at a Mexican restaurant. Just give us the pickled jalapenos. Yeah, yeah. Just eat them plain. They're so good. I eat them with brisket. Eat them with bacon. They're good for dieting. You can wrap it in bacon. You can put cream cheese in there. I think you should go for it. Okay. Just the whole thing. It's so good. I'm not going to do the whole thing, though. It is beautiful. <coughs> it made me cough a little bit, not because it's too hot, but just... Oh, my know, God. Caught my throat funny. But it... Oh, it tastes so good. You can taste the tomatoes, the jalapeno... The uh, there's onions. I I'm, I know I'm get, catching a hint of onions. It's like pico de gallo in a bottle. No, it's much better. Except without the cilantro. It's <clears> good. <throat> it's a, and a little bit of vinegar. Is that vinegary or is it fermented? It's roasted red jalapenos, roasted onion, roasted garlic, distilled vinegar, and water. Yum! It is so good. That would be good on anything. This is great. <laughs> We're gonna drink it out of the bottle. Oh my gonna god! Take it. All right, one more spoonful. Let me let me show these guys. Check out that pour. It's super thick. It's really good. I want a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Just a. That's it. That's enough. That's um, so good. I love tomato-based sauces. You can definitely tell that that roasted onion and that tomato sauce really kicks it in, too. It's so good. Awesome. Love it. I want some more of it. I want tacos now. I want to put it on tacos. Put it on tacos. I want to 
things. I want to put it on, ooh, like in chili, on top of chili. Like, okay, bear with me. A bowl of chili, right? No beans. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of sour cream, and then put that on top of the ooh, sour, sour cream. cream. Yeah. Mm, just saying. It's chilly weather. It is chilly weather. It's still 80 degrees outside, but I mean, it's chilly weather. It's always chilly in weather. In Southeast Texas, you just got to have to take your cold front at a 75 and just live your life with the humidity on the windows. It's fine. Love the sticker. Love the packaging. I always talk about packaging because just a visual person, but I like how it's very consistent with his sauces and all of his branding is just kind of like that um, either slanted or sideways red pepper. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the really state cool. of North Carolina. <gasps> Shut up. Learn something new every day. There we go. <laughs> All right. So before we pour this out, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the bottle because I forgot and cracked the top uh -oh. and I just remembered. So let's check that out. Mm. Look at it. Ooh, sexy. <laughs> Makes me feel funny in places. <laughs> so, check out the pour on it. Yeah. And it's it's I'm it's like perfect. Wow. I'm afraid of it a little bit. I'm a little afraid of it too. Not that I, you know, that it's not going to taste good. I think what I'm afraid should... of is am I going to pour this all over me trying to hand the spoon to you? I think you should try it first then. Just leave what me I should a do bit. is let you hold the spoon and let me pour it. But then I couldn't why don't you just, show the camera. Why don't you just drink a little bit off the spoon? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. It was awkward. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I just want like a drop. I don't want a whole spoonful, but I do want some. So that, that's, that's wing sauce. Mm. Totally, and I can. That taste. makes you want to get wings tomorrow and make them. Yeah, I believe it's got in, the in it. And I think that's also what I'm tasting. It's pretty spicy. This is probably the spiciest one that I've gotten from Jim so far. Just a little bit. That's enough. Oh. God. <laughs> I can't move. I'm trapped. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to eat this much, but at least it won't pour on me. Oh, my gosh. It feels like it's got cumin in it. Jim can make a sauce. That is so good. What is in this? Did you uh, read this this one, it doesn't have the ingredients on it, but I believe, and I'm pretty sure that he's been fermenting this for a while, so I think this is a fermented sauce. I could be wrong, Jim, um, but uh, we do talk, and I'm pretty sure that he told me this was a uh, fermented <coughs> Sorry. So good. It's, it's I can't spicy, do anymore. Huh? It's yeah. real spicy, but um, not too much. It's not like hurtful, you know. It's right. just very yeah spicy and good. It's got a really good flavor. Makes my lips tingle. Yeah, it's oily <laughs> like a super hot is oily. If that makes like it's got a, that good super hot like whenever you crack open a pod yeah. and you can see the oil in there. Like that's how I feel it, but it's not mean like that i think in this my mouth. is definitely his spiciest one and for wings <coughs> especially when you're when you're like me you like hot wings you're right so this this is hot it's gonna yeah. take, it's gonna complement the chicken very well yum okay so all right um we don't have much more for you so Catch the next episode. Uh, hit like and subscribe. We'll keep making these videos with challenges, <laughs> tink reviews, um, sauces, whatever we can come up with that has fire in it. We're go I'm going to eat it. She'll maybe eat it. And um, we'll keep, uh, keep making more videos. So thank you all very much. Bye. If you'd like to try some of Jim's sauce, go to mimosapepperco.com and grab a few bottles. Buy me a bottle. These bottles. They're great bottles. <laughs> Buy the sauce. <laughs> Bye, y'all.